Hello chaps, welcome to a plugin showcase tutorial on the plugin MyZ which is a recreation of the very popular MindZ uh, which is based on the game DayZ so <laughs> if you think I'm saying it weirdly uh, I'm just English, don't worry about that yeah, I know it, uh, in America you pronounce it Daisy or something so how, whatever floats your boat so let's get into this, so this is a very uh, well coded plugin, really awesome uh, it's quite long so I'll be um, snapping in and out of video and putting commands on so let's just get into it, so first you're going to want to set a lobby so um, this is done with world guard uh, there are a couple of dependencies but they are soft so you don't need them so uh, to begin with, oh, we don't need to do this uh, you're going to want to set the lobby, so do pause 1 to set the first position and you can either do pause 2 or right click with the wand so you can either do that but I'm going to go down here like so and uh, this is a cuboid now and you're going to want to do forward slash set lobby and it will say the lobby has been updated so now you've set the lobby uh, players will spawn there and start there you can put information on the commands and stuff there we're going to want to add some spawns so um while I was testing this, uh, I added a couple, so let's show you how to remove them. You do forward slash remo remove spawn and then the number. So they're all numbered. So uh, if you want to add a spawn, you do forward slash spawn add, no, add spawn. And you don't need to have a number at the end. Uh, it will just count, so there's two now. And if I add a third, there'll be three. And I could add maybe two more different places and one on top of a tree just to show you and now you can do um, if we have a look I think it's four slash spawn points to list them yes so this shows the X Y and Z coordinates of each spawn point and now I will be cutting the video into the next topic now we are moving on to blocks so uh, with this command you can allow people to place blocks for a certain amount of seconds and destroy blocks which is quite nice I have to say so if you do four such blocks you will see the blocks you can break and what you can break them with and the blocks you can place so um, let's do block allow if you can spell it correctly block allow and then uh, we want to be able to place um, lapis lazuli uh, and we want to add it for 20 seconds so if you place it it will say lapis has now been added to the blocks list so let's add a destroy one which can be melons because people are hungry and they want food so let's do forward slash block allow destroy uh, add um, how many seconds you can probably want about mm, 600 is that too long 10 minutes 300 five minutes that's cool and now break the block oh break the block you want with the item you want to break it with uh, your fist so yeah nice good so the med kit um, is quite confusing so especially when you try and make it so let's uh, have a go at it now so you're going to save medkit and call it something so I'm going to call it um, first aid like so and now this when this came up I, I bricked myself because it looked really confusing but um, <laughs> it's not that bad I think if I'm doing it right so uh, input number the Theoretically, this is the number of items that you need to have for it to work. Uh, ointment and antiseptic, uh, you can find those, so they're just custom. And output number is the item number of items you get. So, um, say we need one apple to be put in, so we put that in slot one. Uh, the number of ointments, this doesn't matter what block you use. So let's have two ointments and one antiseptic and in return you will get um, I'll put item you'll get maybe a water bottle do you know that's a bit cheap let's give them diamond sword 
which is a lot better. So now if you do medicate first aid again, so it says uh, first aid requires two ointment, one antiseptic, an apple, Mr. Space there, and yield to diamond sword. So you get given that when you put this in. So that's all good and done. And now let's move on to some other stuff. So now we are going to look at ranks. So first of all, we need to set default rank for everyone. And then we're going to set uh, rank 1 and rank 2. And you can set as many as you want. So let's do forward slash save rank. And then this will come up. We need a prefix. But before, you put a 0, which is the number. That's default. And let's make a really nice colourful prefix. Um, possibly default could be, I don't know, God. And that sounds plausible. I'm joking. That was stupid. But uh, you get the picture. God. And 8. There we go, so now if I type in chat, that will be my prefix. Um, and now if we change the 1, the 0 to a 1, and maybe change something inside here to, um, I don't know, warrior. Uh, my in-game chat will now be warrior, and you can set more of these. Let's set one more to, I don't know, red, because that's the colour, <laughs> and uh, my creative mind isn't working, and now you can do set rank, which requires permission, uh, so only give that to admins, and then you type in a username, and then a number, so if I type in 1, I will now be a warrior, if I type in 2, I will be red, and if I type in 0, I will now be god, and if I type in 2 again, I'll be red, so that works really well. And let's move on to something else. So now I'm going to show you the friends commands, and this will allow you to add people you know and like on the server. So if you do forward slash friends, it will say you have no friends. So let's add someone. So I'm on my other account at the moment, so I'm going to do friend ltgym007, and it says ltgym has been added to your friends list. You do forward slash friends, and it shows you. If you want to remove him, you just do friend and his username, and it's removed. So that's very simple. Now we're looking at research. So this enables players to buy things uh, depending on how many points they have. So let's do forward slash set research to add this axe, and then add reward, and then the number of points. Let's do four points. And now if we do forward slash research, it will pop up, and these are all the things you can research. So these two I added earlier, so uh, at the moment I don't have enough points. Now we're going to look at um, some stats. So if I kill Mr. Linkin Park here, you can see that when he dies, uh, a zombie spawns. Uh, this comes up, that looks lovely. And when you actually hit something, there is an awesome blood particle effect. And the zombie is named um, whoever the player, what the player's username was. So this uses tag a API, which I suggest you use. So if I kill him, uh, it will say zombie down, and if I do stats and then my name, it will say you've survived 4 minutes, um, and it will update the kills pretty soon. So, bearing in mind, if I do Lincoln Park 9, he's not here. Because, when you die, you get kicked for 30 seconds, so if I get myself killed, so here's what it says when you die, it says grab a drink, come back in 30 seconds, and then you can rejoin the game, like so. Before I go on to a couple of final things, I'm going to show you how to uh, join the virtual world slash game. So you do forward slash start, uh, very simple, but you've got to be in the lobby or near to the lobby. So it says, um, it teleports you to one of the spawns you set previously. Uh, so this is the second one they set, I believe, and it says you've spawned in the world, find water, find food, find weapons, kill zombies, really, really cool, um, and yeah, let's move on to something else. So now we are going to be looking at clans, so this is a very nice feature, so you can't kill each other, which is um, <clears throat> a problem I found on DayZ servers, and uh, this eliminates that problem, which is good. Well done to the developer. Uh, so you're going to want to do force slash clan, and it says you're not in a clan. So how do you uh, make one? You go force slash join clan and name it. Let's call it um, communists. And it says you have joined communists, which is a terrible, terrible thing. Communism very bad. 
and uh, now if you do clan it will say information about your clan so if I get my other account to join the clan hold on uh, join clan communists oh forgot the space uh, bear with me and it says you have joined so if I do forward slash clan now it, it will say uh, there's three online so that's really really cool and if you want to leave your clan you do forward slash join clan again and that will just remove you from it you're no longer in the clan and that is about it for clans we're back and now we're going to look at chests and loot and etc so if you do uh, forward slash chest scan uh, here we go it will pop up with this uh, so you right click one corner and right click the other uh, in a cuboid so it will scan for chest and it has found two of them so one here and one there and now you're going to want to do loot set and uh, let's call it um, chest uno and now what have we put into our inventory will have a uh, 2% chance of uh, spawning so if I get 64 golden apples which is ridiculous don't do this or your server will be very unfair Need some rotten fish and potatoes so let's put different amounts of each in them like so and now you type anything not literally anything but I did and then you can pop it in here like, like so there we go and it says the percentage that you will get which is really really cool uh, so if you want to see any more commands you do for slash my Z and you can do lots and lots of things there's so many commands I've gone through most of them and if you have any questions ask me or the developer and I'll be doing a video very shortly on the configuration files uh, there's about six of them so that could be quite long I didn't want this to go over 10 minutes although it probably has and I'm probably gonna go play TF2 on Battlefield now so thank you for watching uh, subscribe like comment chaps and I'll see you uh, very shortly in the next video. Okay.